Okay, here's the Venomy. It's actually in good shape. However, the straps, that's something to be desired about. So I'm gonna have to take these straps off and then redo them. Because the ones in the back are too lax, the ones in the front are beat up. Uh, well, they're all beat up, but I'll get that redone. I got the uh, the Benimi position where I wanted to sit though. So it sits right here and then now when it lays down, it'll lay down on the on the back pulpit. On that stern pulpit right there. So you know that'll be a, a good spot. Uh, the first outing I did with it, it was sitting down here and now that the, the tiller is now open. I can get to the tiller without too much of an issue with it right there. So, I like it. Okay, so, the Benemy strap itself, guys, this thing was torn apart. Look at this. It was just shredded when I got there. Um, I started taking it apart. Look at this. It was just coming apart everywhere. It's just a tangled mess. Uh, so, what we're going to do, is I was already starting to cut, we're going to reuse the hardware. I got the hardware right here, and um, I'm going to finish pulling this hardware off, and I have some new, and it's very soft, uh, enemy straps. This is a 1 inch strap, it's a polypropylene. This is a 7 8 inch strap, so the one that was on the boat, it was slightly smaller than uh, the new one that I got, however I think that it was a replacement because the stitching itself, don't know if you can see the stitching here, but it was definitely uh, something that needs to be desired. I'm not saying I'm the best seamstress myself, because I can barely sew. But, now see, now that one's not bad. Nice X and across there. Um, but, what we're going to do is we're going to pull all this off, and one... Of the clips is different than the other three so I think uh, something definitely happened to one strap and this has all been replaced uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do it slightly different than what they have okay so I'm gonna kind of fast forward through the actual sewing of it um, a couple of things I did different was one I actually put a, a twist inside my loop so that way when I looped it around the Benami pole itself it would sit flat and flush um, so yeah make sure you put your twist on there because if you went straight across then then it wouldn't sit nicely at, uh, when you put it on the Benami so for everybody who can actually sew you could probably tell me 8 billion things that I did wrong here but it's going to be good enough for our work um, I got a nice little X going on in a box and it will definitely hold up so what we have now is we have one sewn loop on one end and we have the adjustable strap on the other to cut the strapping I actually use this um, electric hot knife it's a cheap version it is not a name brand I know um, there are the different brands out there but it does a good job it just heats it up, melts the edges, so that way uh, it doesn't fray later. Well. Enemy straps are on. They look great. Enemy is nice and tight it's got just enough wiggle around it not too much and the best part is is now I'm on top and it totally clears the boom I had to move it back because the uh, Angle of the main sheet here. Look at that. 
So you're down here in the southern United States and the temperatures get over 100 degrees, you need some shade. If you don't want to cook yourself. So yeah. All you northern guys, you're like, I hate Benami tops, but you know what? You don't deal with the extreme temperatures that we do year round. And it's already over 100, guys. It was already low, it was like 96 degrees on Memorial Day, so yeah. We've still got some more warming up to do, but now I've got a Benami top. And I got some shade. I think those came out pretty good. I like it. And the blue matches the Benami. 